Hey makers, this is Dravin, and in this episode, I am going to talk about two important concept of solution. We will be talking about patch and clone concept in the Power Platform. So, without further delay, let's get started. Over here, I am on my computer, and over here, you can see that I have one solution called YT Twenty Twenty Four Apps. Here, I do have one canvas application, one table, and another table. So, two table with one canvas app. Now. What I'm going to do here is I'm simply exporting and importing this solution from my development environment to my production environment. And if I play simply my Power Apps, let's see what it is showing at this moment in the source environment. When I play the Power Apps, it is showing the label YouTube App First Draft. And currently, this solution is in the default environment at this moment. From this default environment, I will be moving this solution into my another environment called Power Platform Training Prod environment. So currently, I am in the prod environment, and right now you can see that underneath all, I do not see any of the solution deployed for YT Twenty Twenty Four apps. So let me first do single deployment over here. I am just selecting my solution from here, and let's click on Export Solution. Click on Next, and I am deploying as a managed solution. And here I am. My solution has been exported successfully. Click on the download option from here. The package has been downloaded successfully. Now I am opening my production environment over here. And let's click on import solution from the solution section. And here we are importing our first managed solution into this environment. Let's click on browse and select our managed solution that we have. Click on Open and click on Next. You can see at this moment my version is 1.0.0.1 and there is no patch into this solution and type of the solution is Manage. And let's click on Import option from here. You can see the package is importing. Let's wait for a couple of minutes for the package to be imported. And here we are. Our package has been imported successfully, and you can see that package is looking over here, and it is deployed as a managed solution. If I open the solution, and this is what my app looks like. Let's click on three dots over here, and click on play, and this will play the application over here, and this is the output. So this is the regular methodology which we follow in our day-to-day -day routine in order to move the solution from the development to production. Simply export and import. Now let me talk about one more interesting real-life use case where we need to use another two concept called solution cloning and solution patching. So let's explore this functionality. Let's say for an example, whenever you are clicking on your solution. When you are clicking on the clone option from here, you will be able to see another two option called clone a patch and clone a solution. Let's explore what exactly does that mean. Okay, so let's say for an example, I am going to my solution at this moment, and sometimes what happen here is in the real world there are many tables, many flows, many power apps you have in your one solution, and sometimes let's say you already deployed first draft of the package into the production, and sometimes in the production some urgent issue raise up, and that issue let's say for an example it only belongs to this canvas app, nothing to do with this particular two tables. Okay, at the time what happen here is we need to fix only that piece of part and we need to redeploy the entire package again to the production. At this moment there are some challenges. Sometimes in the development environment another developers worked on the tables and they created some more columns and more views and more forms and those things you don't want to deploy along with your solution with this release because this release is not ready for the production but to fix this urgent issue obviously we need to release few part of the code from one of the application and from the overall solution sometimes when you move some of the part of your component let's say for an example only for that particular one power apps or only for that one particular table you want to release that part into your production at this time you can release that as a patch so you need to do the patching of the solution so let's see what do i mean by this particular use case 
let's say for an example in our use case in the development environment this two table i don't have any changes or let's say developers work on the, the table and what happen here is they are still under development for that but the app that i deploy yt apps it has some urgent issue in the production and now i immediately need to fix this issue and need to deploy that into my production at the time i will use patch functionality of the solution so what i'll do here is i'm simply going back click on three dots from here click on clone and when you click on clone there is an option available clone a patch click on that as soon as you do clone a patch basically it will not allow you to add it this first and second version over here but you can always upgrade this particular version number let's keep it 1.0.1.1 okay and let's click on provide some name over here so let's say i just want to create the patch solution so with the original solution name is yt2024 apps i'm just providing one suffix over here that okay this is my patch so i'm just doing patch 01 let's click on save as soon as you do this activity you will be see the success message over here the patch solution successfully and you can see that this is my original solution yt2024 apps and this is my patch solution which is created over here okay so basically it will create the copy of the same solution over here now if i open the pet solution what it will show me let's see over here you can see that my patch per solution is not showing me any app any flow any table over here but if i go back from here and i open my original solution basically you will be able to see the message over here at this moment that you cannot directly edit the object within the parent solution if customization is enabled you may need to do through the patches okay and now you can see that all of these tables and apps in the original solution are locked even if i'm clicking on these three dots over here you can see that all of this option is completely showing me the disable mode so i cannot edit any of my table any of my maps anything over here now if i want to make any update or after patching i need to use in the patch solution so let's click on patch solution as here i'm not able to say any changes at this moment so what you need to do here is click on add existing and let's say you want to only apply your change into a canvas application based on our use case let's select canvas application from here from dataverse i am searching from my yt apps and over here i can see that particular application let's select this application and click on add once i add this application over here inside my patch solution i will be able to make my update so now let me edit this application and let me make the updates i am editing this application and this application has some sort of bug in the production so i am just fixing that and for an example over here i am taking one label control at this moment and now let me just rename this label as patch deployment so i just did this one label over here patch deployment now let's save and publish this application and let's go to the patch solution now and now let's export the patch solution again to deploy that into the production now in this case we are only moving our canvas application we are not moving any of the table changes which our developers are working at this moment so only the update that we have done in this power apps will be deployed to the production let's go back and to deploy the patch same step we need to follow click on three dots over here and click on export solution you need to publish all your customization click on next and select manage solution as an export and click on export button from here this will take some time to export the patch let's wait for that and here we are our patch has been exported successfully click on the download button from here let's go to our production environment at this moment and over here let's try to import the solution i am clicking on import and this time let's import our pet solution that we have downloaded so this is my pet solution click on that and click on open and click on next and over here you can see the description so over here type is manage this is the description which is added automatically that okay patch for this 
and over here it is showing you that yes it is your patch it's not the full release okay and click on import over here as soon as you import it will start importing the solution let's wait for the process to be finished and here i am you can see that my patch one is imported successfully and if i go to the manage solution now i can see one original solution and another patch solution over here for myself over here if i open my original solution it is showing you that you can't edit this stuff obviously it's a managed solution and if i open my patch solution over here this is how it will look like now if i go back and go to the app section and let's say if i play the application at this moment let's see what change it will show to me over here i'm refreshing this application and you can see that it is showing me that yes your patch one deployment is done so patch one is deployed successfully into the production and at this moment we did not move any of the changes from my table one and table two because we don't want those tables to be moved into the production we only moved this one specific part of the application i mean only that one canvas that we moved from our development to production over here and we successfully did that as a patch now let's say for an example if i go to the original solution which means my in default solution we can see these two solutions available now now what happen here is after some times we are ready for the next release okay like developer may uh, make some changes into table they finish the development and now finally what we want to do is this patch that we deployed separately we need to merge that with the original solution how can we do that for that simply we need to click on the original solution that we had and over here click on the clone option again when you click on clone option again you will be able to see the option clone a solution you need to simply click on that as soon as you do this activity clone a solution it will be asking you to update your major version over here so i am doing 1.1.0.0 and click on save from here as soon as you do this activity it will start cloning the solution and it will merge that particular patch into the one and you can see that finally we have our one final solution over here and that change is merged with the original change let's say if i'm going back here you can see that all the changes are merged perfectly now developers can resume that particular work over here finish their development work and at the end we can deploy this final product into the production now over here let me do one activity for final production i am again making one changes into the app so that we can make sure that when we deploy again that changes also be reflected into the production environment now i am copying and pasting the same label over here and finally i am just making a label over here like final release by clone the solution okay and let's publish these changes over here let's go to the solution again and now we have the single solution let's try to export this solution again from here and import to the target environment because right now still in the target we have two separate solutions available so see this is what i have at this moment into the target now in the target as well we should have a single solution available right so we need to do the solution upgrade for that simply from the source let's just export that application one more time let's click on three dots and click on export solution you can publish your changes click on next and export it this will take some time and it is showing that it is exporting the solution and here i am you can see that it has been exported successfully let's click on download button from here i'm downloading this package go to the target environment and click on import solution click on browse and let's deploy our manage solution over here so this is my manage solution that i just deployed click on open click on next 
and now over here you can see the information okay so what it is showing to me now okay so over here it is showing the description upgrade of this particular application because earlier we released the patch now on top of patch we need to obviously upgrade the solution current version of the solution is this now update will be this one no patch over here earlier it was a patch right and if you go to the advanced option you must need to select the upgrade option after you release your patch so after you merge your patch basically the upgrade option should be used there are some other options available as well so you can simply click on learn more to look out the other option but the basic idea here over here is when you do the patch earlier and then you make your final release you always need to upgrade your solution and simply click on import button after that and that will import your final solution into the production so let's wait for the process to be finished and here i am you can see that my final solution has been imported and now you can see that in my production environment as well instead of two solution i do have a single solution as an upgrade and this is what i am able to see at this moment let's say if i go to the app section if i go over here and let's try to play the application and see what would be the latest change it will showing to me let me refresh the app and over here as well you can see that my final change has been deployed perfectly over here so that's the funda of solution cloning and solution patching hope this video is helping you and valuing your time if so hit thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel 80% of you only watching the content but not subscribing the channel it's free for you but it is helping me in lots of other way and that will motivates me to create such amazing content on the power platform so if you think so this is really helpful please do subscribe and make sure you hit thumbs up and do comment out whatever your thought is if you haven't followed me on instagram please do follow me because this is the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform the instagram link is available in the description box so do check it out thank you so much for watching my content see you in the next video with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye